suspended. I've been given like. People deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in each and every time. Now, over the weekend, Arsenal's under-18s in the North London derby defeated Tottenham three goes to two. Now, I can't lie, it was a great game to watch. Uh, you know, it's a great game of football where the nerves were there. I'm not going to lie, we were on the verge of potentially bottling um, a potential 2-0 lead. It was quite the second half. I can't lie, is it Jaden Williams of Tottenham? I can't lie, the goal he scored from a Tottenham perspective, it was a bad boy finish, his goal. Um, and I can't remember the lad that, that scored the first one for them. He plays for, we need to do a video on him. He plays for England at youth level, very silky. But yeah, less of the praise for them. That's all the luxuries I'll give Tottenham. Again, it was a crazy game, but I'm proud of my players, you know. Let's hope that Tottenham versus Arsenal is, you know, is like this at senior level because we've got them we've got them next weekend or next Sunday, better yet. Obviously, I don't want Spurs to score two goals, but it had everything, man. You know, Kion Edwards and Charles Sango Jr. again, they, they, man, they eat, breathe, sleep and probably, you know, use the toilet and goals come out really and truly. They've, you know, Charles has been back in and every week he seems to score, man. And it's, it's lovely to see. He's got a very good finish. Obviously, Kion Edwards got a brace. Flores was good, you know. I also feel, if I remember correctly, James Sweet is actually playing right back. I don't know if he'll, if that's something the club are working on, but he put in a decent shift. Man to a man, now everybody played well, really and truly. It was a fantastic game to watch, you know. It was a, it was a fast start for both sides. I feel, I feel there was a lot of space. It was like one of them games where tactics go out the window. There was a lot of space. Both teams were breaking kind of with Will. Arsenal, probably the stronger side. You know, we had that dominance early on and it's reflected with us taking the lead fairly early. We've got a corner after good initial work from a couple of our players. Spurs have dealt with the corner, but they haven't cleared their lines properly. And eventually, you know, it's a fantastic finish from Charles. I hope it, I can't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a good finish, like, from the right-hand side. You know, keeper's got no chance. It's a very good finish from a man that's in good form and very confident and... I actually don't know if he signed the pro deal yet. I don't think he has, but he's doing everything he can to earn that pro deal. Um, in my opinion, he deserves it. He's probably been, he's a candidate for player of the season already, if I'm completely honest with you. And that's, you know, he's been a very good player this season and someone that's got a knack of scoring some vital goals, as has Kion Edwards. Obviously, Edwards taps in from close range as well after a good move. And we're doing all right, you know, first half. We're, we're all over them, really and truly. They, they are... Get playing that Spurs are playing their way out of trouble. They are showing that they're a very technical side. And as I said, they're getting forward. They're presenting problems of their own. But I think there's a golfing class. And 2 nils a dangerous lead. You want us to score a third. Now, these young boys are going to have to learn that as they progress to the next level. Because 10 minutes into the second half, we've conceded. Again, I think I can't say his name. I want to say it's Boxman. But I could, be, I could completely be wrong on the young lad's name. And I don't want to be spreading false propaganda. Let me check my other notes, people. If you give me a second, I'm going on the Google Docs. One second, folks. I'm still here. Yeah, Boxham. Apologies, Thomas Boxham. He's a very decent player, very silky. Again, I've seen a little bits of ones and twos of him and he could have a decent future at, at Spurs, if I'm completely honest. But where we're concerned, man to a man, we're doing well. I think young Robertson in defence for us is also having a good game. I don't think there is a man of the match, really, because all Arsenal's doing their thing in general. But we've conceded a, a, a good goal from a Spurs perspective for us. You know, we're at sixes and sevens a bit defensively and it's put us in problems. Now, Spurs got a bit of energy behind it. I had the wind in their cells and not too after long after that, Again, we're, you know, our defence has been caught. Jaden Williams has scored and it's a fantastic bit of trickery to buy himself some space. And it's a good finish. I can't lie. Swivel hips. He, he done us there. You know, I can't lie. You've got to applaud it, you know, really and truly. Um, you know, it was a good it was a good finish. Late drama, a sweet um, pull it into the box, if I can remember correctly, without checking my notes. Kion Edwards heads home and, you know, it's a dramatic finish to a dramatic game and our blushes are sped. Now, of course, for these players, if they have to step up to 23s, you know, go on loan and play professional football or have futures at Arsenal, there's not going to be too many times you go 2 nil up in games and are allowed to get in a position where you can see two goals and ultimately still win. You're going to need to be able to kill games in that regards. You know, I do think our defending could have been better for the two goals. We could have managed 
the game a bit better. We could have managed, the, I feel, the first 10 minutes in the second half a bit better. But other than that, we did well, man. I feel Bradley Ibrahim did well. Morrow did well. Josh Robertson did well. James Sweet did well. Kyle Edwards and, and Charles, you can see by the title of the vid, you know, again, man to a man, everybody did what they needed to do. If if, if I'm if I'm completely honest with you, you know, Flores, it's, a, it's unfortunate. There's a lot of people involved at 23's level because he's almost getting to that level where, I don't feel he's. I feel like he needs to play and be out of his comfort zone at 23s. I feel this level is getting a bit easy for him, and he's he's starting to get a yard or two bit in front of everybody, and it's it's, it's not going to help him. Still, he needs, still needs to play with his head up a bit, but you know he, he he's always buzzing around. He's a good player, and it was a good performance ultimately. You know we need to improve. Obviously, not conceding those goals, but we've won the North London derby, and again. It's always nice to beat your rivals. So on that note, there's nothing more to say. Pick up our 23s and our 18s really and truly for, you know, not losing in the uh, during during the weekend or in their last fixtures. Unfortunately, we our first team lost against Forest. But on that note, I'm out, man. You lot, please hit the like button. Stay safe. Uh, comment if you've got any opinions. <laughs>